Hey, how y'all doing? Look, I was going, uh, I'm thinking, I've been dropped in my spirit to start a um, little vlog about, I hate saying that word, but um, about um, like making videos and coming at people with a little uh, spiritual stuff. Mind you, this ain't for the uh, 25 year going back this person or whatever you went to. It's for people that's seeking, I'ma say knowledge, <laughs> but I'ma say what, what's, what the spirit saying. That's what I say. Cause the spirit does speak. And this ain't for those who looking for no boyfriend or nothing like that. I ain't trying to holler at you, okay? I'm just, um, cause they, them the ones that be on here talking about, oh, this and that. Something ain't right. Look over there. Man, I got a whole lot of ain't rights. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mentally, spiritually, all that. So, you think this ain't for you. If you see it, and you see this big, beautiful face, and it is beautiful, who you can walk up to and just have a conversation in your mind about their face. <laughs> and people don't see that I see that. But, I mean, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As he blessed me with this face. You can have your smooth, unexperienced face. Look what I got. I'm blessed and highly favored. Somebody got a face like this. Why? With this energy, you know what I'm saying? Boy, that man... And I, I can do all things through Christ. You know what I'm saying? So, why I'm worrying about you? Or who looking at this? I guess, less. man, I used to get picked on at school. By 30, 40, I know it had to be half the school population. Out there, I mean, teachers standing around there looking at me. Picking at me. Now, then, I was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? As, as smooth as the baby, baby's bottom. I'm always beautiful, but you know what I'm saying? I was youthful. I'm going to put it up like that. So these niggas couldn't have nothing to say about my appearance. They, they had the rag on my clothes. Now, mind you, I love my mama. If she would have put me in a clown suit, I would have went to school in that clown suit. And literally, she did that. Because them shoes she put on me from 1975 with them high stack heels and the checkerboard. Brown and beige checkerboard. I'm like, really? Ma, you're killing me. But if I can endure all that uh, ridicule, they kid, they kids. But kids speak from the heart, close to it. And if you jacked up, they gonna let you know, bruh. If you, you start singing, a kid said that to me the other day, and I know I can hit me some beautiful notes. But that kid said, you can't even sing. <laughs> and yeah, I might have been a little pitchy when he, he was listening to me, but I wasn't trying to sing. I was just tripping. Either way. Uh, kids going to spit out that truth a little bit. And so... You might want to, if a kid say something, your breath stink, your ass stink, you know, you might want to go check on it. Because they ain't lying. <laughs> or they, it, it's not in them to lie right then. Some of them, they'll lie about, you know, little stupid stuff trying to get out of something, that whooping. Because you done trained them to lie. But anyway, dang, I'm dropping some nuggets, y'all don't even know. These, this, this for the little, the people that are spiritual. I'm talking about spiritual. Not that um, 
go to church every Sunday spiritually. That's good for this earth. Keep you in line. That's what that's for. Your flesh. If you are a real spiritual person and you can deny yourself pleasure on this body, then this that's who I, I want to talk to, them people. Because if you walking in any part of your flesh, arrogance, any of that, pride, any of that, you ain't, man. And and I know it's people that look at me and be like, dang, what are y'all huffity puffy for? Man, if you knew my daddy, my father in heaven, that's what make me feel because he on the inside of me. So why, why I'm going to walk with my head down? I don't care if I'm homeless or whatever. I'm not walking with my head down. And I see people on the street. I'm like, why are you walking with your head down? And that's it's, it's because they don't know who they are on the inside. You got to know who you are on the inside. This little mask we put on, it even looked like a mask. So why are you walking around like because you pretty? In in this world's eye, because to God, everybody pretty. He created everything. So why are you trying to walk around like you all this and that? Why am I on this bull jive? But um, somebody needs to hear it. That's why I'm on it. But uh, you walk around in all that pride and everything, that ain't nothing. To God, that is nothing. And I done lost my train of thought. I was on that. Uh, man, let me get out of here. I got to go get my lottery numbers. <laughs> Tune in next time and uh, see what thus say of the spirit. Now, you can call it what you want to say. And and that's what I owe. Dang. See, that's why I really got on here. I want to let everybody that smoke weed and are spiritual. That's the that people used to do it back in the day to separate their body from their flesh. You still in your flesh, but you walking in the spirit. You you using your body to take you places because this is still a world. You can get out of your spiritual body enough to where you can if you can walk around like that. With that, and and be in that same spot and walk around and be all oh, everywhere and literally be there you can literally be there because God is literally here so you can be over you can be your flesh and, and really your person is over here because still somebody shoot that person your soul going to heaven okay dang Boy, that woo wee. Now that was too that was way down that deep. But anyway, if you walk out your spirit far enough, some people can do that. Can walk out of their spirit and go other places. But how you doing? Um I'll be back.